Excited to talk about this today. I think this is a really important thing to understand as a business owner who might be hiring and working with marketing people. So there are all these components that go into being effective when it comes to online advertising marketing. What do you want out of a marketing provider? You want A, results and substantial results and results that are as good as they can possibly be. And you want good service and good quality work performed on behalf of your business, right? So what is the difference between a good and a bad marketing agency? Well, the problem is it's the nuances that make a difference. It's, it's kind of like um, being an elite athlete. You know, if you're just using the eyeball test to watch like a good college football quarterback, and then you see the best quarterbacks in the NFL, that incremental difference in talent gap can make someone not even eligible for the NFL versus make them Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl champion, right? And that's true with so many things is the nuances, the incremental differences are what makes something more or less effective. So I really like this example to kind of simplify it with math. So this is always hard when I'm trying to explain, hey, why, why should you hire us to do Facebook ads? Or why should you hire us to do SEO versus another agency? There are specific things I can outline in our processes and our procedures, the way we do things. But ultimately you have to kind of know the math and you have to understand the devils in the details with this stuff. So this is a great example. Let's say for every thousand dollars you spend on ads, every thousand dollars you spend on ads, um, you're getting leads for $20 cost per lead. So for every thousand dollars you spend on ads, if you're getting those at $20 cost per lead with my calculator over here, that would mean, let's say, or let's do 15. Sorry. So for every thousand dollars you're spending on ads, you're generating leads for $15. That would mean for every thousand dollars you spend, you're generating 67 leads. And then from those, let's say you're converting 10% into booked appointments. Kind of a realistic number on the lower end for Facebook and Instagram ads. That would mean for every thousand dollars you're spending on ads, you're generating six or seven new patients. Now that can still be a super effective marketing campaign. You could be seeing great return on investment from those stats, depending on your service, your retention rates, and things like that. But here's why I say the nuances matter and the devil's in the details. Let's say for that same thousand dollars in ad spend, you now were generating leads for 750. You cut your cost per lead in half. You tested a new image. You had a new ad copy that just did a better job of resonating and catching the user's attention. And now you cut your cost per lead in half from $15 to 750 per lead. Then let's say you get really good with your follow-up process and using automations and marketing tools to aggressively follow up with leads for 72 hours up to a week. And that gets your booking rate from 10% to 20%. Now for that same thousand dollar ad spend, instead of generating seven leads, you've generated or seven patients, you've generated 27 patients. So that's what I mean. That's one of the things I always try to connect with clients on is devils in the details, nuances matter. You have to know your benchmarks and you have to be constantly striving to improve those two numbers. How do we get our cost per lead as low as possible? How do we maximize our conversion rate? And then also think about the ticket price of the service and retention. But those two numbers from an ad standpoint, really important to keep an eye on. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that was valuable lesson here today.